Hi everyone, this is Tracy Bowman, Bowman for Art on Facebook, and I'm telling you the rain won't stop here. It's not snow though, so I can't complain. So I painted this painting the other day and it came out lovely. And believe it or not, I used this amazing color. Um, it's a pigment. And this is the way it looked when I painted it. But this is how it dried, if you can see them both. I mean, say what? What? <clears throat> so, lesson learned. When you're using a pigment, make sure you're using a regular type paint underneath it. It needs support. The pigments are amazing, 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 but sometimes they don't keep. So that's what we're going to try to do, which, you know, it's really hard to recreate magic. So somebody who likes a very pale purple would love this painting because it is lovely, but I love the brilliance of it when I painted it. So uh, I'm going to try to do something like it because there's no two are alike. It's physically impossible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on an eight by eight. That was a six by six. I'm going to do an eight by eight. And we're going to do that kind of flower. But let's see what happens. So. We'll be right back when we get my gloves on, the paint down, or at least the base, and uh, we'll see what we come up with, okay? Thanks for watching. Okay, I got my paint, my house paint down. I <clears throat> have my olive green leaves with a green flash and 14 karat gold there. And now we're going to put the cell activator on. I'm gonna do a double cell activator this is yellowish green by Amsterdam and then sap green <clears throat> cell activator, which is Amsterdam paint and Australian Floetrol mixed. Blow that out. You see the cell action there on those leaves? It's amazing. Australian Floetrol never disappoints. If you like what you're seeing, please go to my YouTube channel, like and subscribe, learn more. All my videos are teaching videos. Okay, now we'll let that collect itself and you'll see later that there won't be any more dark spots there. I'll pop this bubble there. Okay. So I guess we have to start with this purple. <clears throat> Though it's completely different than the huckleberry. It's 
So here's the huckleberry, which is amazing color. But I'm gonna put the purple underneath it, which is completely different. But we'll see how it comes out. We shall see how it comes out. All right. So here's my purple. Okay, <clears throat> now the huckleberry. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to do a double cell activator. Which would be the light green and the sap green, both. Goes nothing. It looks like my center is a little bigger than I intended. But here we go. Where'd the purple go? You see the cell activator collected itself on the leaves. So it will do the same thing on the flower. We'll give it a moment. I'm gonna puff for some reason, I don't know why. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> give it a moment to collect itself. <clears throat>
We have purple, but there's a lot of gold on that, isn't there? I figured as much. But there's some purple. There's some purple. <clears throat> okay. So let's create our flower. Clean your skewer each time. Leave your center alone and lift straight up so you don't dribble. Lift straight up. go. I'm not going to use my stylist. Looks lovely. Very pretty. Yeah, it's purple. I see purple. I can't wait to see how it dries now. Drag through with the huckleberry color. Clean your skewer each time. the gold and accent to each flower. There we go. <clears throat> So somebody wanted to buy that six by six, but the color disappeared, so she chose not to. So maybe she will buy this one. Let's see what happens. And there we go. This lovely definition, great detail. The leaves. So I hope you like this video. <clears throat> Please like and subscribe. And so you can see what comes next. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.
And remember, if you're using a pigment, make sure you have a rather regular acrylic paint there to shore it up so the color keeps good. All right, thank you so much. Bye for now. This is the dried results. The color kept much better. Came out quite nice. Now here's the dried results. You can see that it's quite different than the one that didn't work well before. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you soon. Oh, be sure to check out my clothing line. It's really lovely. And thanks again for watching. Bye for now.